What is happening, beautiful people? Assistant God must hit this along. If you're watching for the very first time, welcome. My name is Zaman. Guys, I want to talk about three mistakes that a lot of new Amazon sellers make, especially when they're trying to start a private label business. By listening to this, try to avoid these mistakes. It's just going to help you in the long run. And you know what? By avoiding these also, you're going to be ahead of everybody else, okay? Mistake number one is that they do not have enough budget or capital to start. I think that's probably one of the biggest mistakes I've seen is they assume that they can start with, say, a thousand dollars buy some inventory and they don't take into account you know ads they don't take an account into you know reordering inventory and some other miscellaneous items which you know creep up on you now when i started with amazon everyone told me to start off with like little as two thousand dollars to one thousand dollars i actually took that and being in business myself for a long time i kind of understood those numbers um and i kind of worked out what i needed and my recommendation is it, whatever you think you need double it so i started out with five thousand dollars and i'm going to be honest with you it just wasn't enough because when it came to reorder time i just couldn't pull my money out fast enough to be able to get the product you know back into stock so guys you got to really figure out how much capital you can invest into and i'm going to give you some tips and tricks if it's like a thousand dollars and less my recommendation would be to start off doing retail arbitrage which is basically finding you know products already on amazon at a discount sale clearance items clearance stores you know, all these empty shelves and all these different stores, you know, whatever it may be, get them on Amazon, flip them and get some capital. I think realistically you should be going into starting a private label business in Amazon, probably around five to $10,000. That's what I think. That's what I believe. Again, you don't have to listen to me. I started off with around $5,000 and they put me in decent shape to get going on into building my you know, five figure, six figure, six figure business. Mistake number two that I see um, a lot of Amazon sellers make is they don't know their numbers. Um, it's one thing to understand how much capital you need, but you need to really understand, you know, return on investment, margins, you know, and really to understand what those numbers mean and how they're gonna affect what's gonna get back into your, you know, bank account. If you don't know your numbers, how are you gonna make the right decisions? What really frustrates me is you see all these different sellers on here saying that I've got, 50% ROI, 60% ROI, making X amount of dollars and blah, blah, blah. And honestly, I call bullshit on most of them because um, I've been doing this for over a year. I've met a lot of sellers, a lot of big sellers, seven figure sellers, you know, eight figure sellers, and their returns are always, you know, somewhere where I am around 20 to 30%. So when someone out of the gate tells me that they're getting 50 to 60% ROI, I just don't buy it. That kind of tells me that they don't really understand all their numbers. And I don't care how good or cheap you're getting your products, there's always a cost of doing business. And that is the portion that you really need to, you really need to understand. If you don't know how to get those numbers, you know what, by all means sit with account. The third mistake I see a lot of uh, new sellers make is that go, 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 I want profit out of the gate mentality. Um, it's really frustrating to see. Guys, look, at the end of the day, you know, when you launch a business, any business, I don't care if you're selling baskets, I don't care if you're selling speakers, laptops, whatever it is. When you open your store for the very first time, no one knows who you are, okay? How are you gonna get customers into the door? You're gonna get these customers by ads, giveaways, and discounts. So if you are right out of the gate, say you got 500 units, okay, in stock in Amazon, your brand new store, you're ready to launch, you can't tell me that maybe you know a third of that half of that inventory is going to be at a discounted rate maybe even break even so if you're expecting profits right out of the gate you know in your first month of sales first two months of sales um you really need to change that mentality the goal is to think long term like your goal and objective for your launch or for your first you know inventory to ever go into amazon is to get ranked and get to page one that is your goal at whatever cost it is. I can tell you from my experience, when I launch a new product, I'm losing money, right? I'm, I'm telling you, I'm losing money, probably a good 20, 30%. I'm right off the bat, I'm losing money. I know it, like my PPC is ridiculously high. I'll put in a ridiculous budget, you know, like a thousand dollars a day, whatever it is, just to show that Amazon, that I'm serious, I'm gonna spend money with you guys. I'm giving away products at like, you know, break even or, you know, like a 60, 70% discount, whatever it is, I'm like, I'm losing money on my product. And this is exactly what I meant by point one is if you don't have your budget right and you are launching and you're losing money or breaking even, how are you even going to order product for when your product, you know, when your product hits page one and people want it, you know what I mean? So that's why I said to you, you know, and the first point is if you're gonna have a budget, make sure you budget for that next restock 
because your your goal right out of the gate is get to page one. Once you're on page one, the game changes. So if you don't have that mentality, you know, you gotta be really be careful because what's gonna happen is you're gonna get to page one, you're gonna be broke, you have no money, how are you gonna reorder, right? And people want your products. So you're gonna have to find another way to get some capital, which is okay. I just can't stress this point enough. I think this is the one that breaks most new sellers is that mentality that, you know, I need to make profit um, in the first batch or first 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. Um, yeah, you may make a little bit of profit, but you can't just take that out and spend it. That should be reinvested back into your business. That's what I think breaks a lot of new sellers because they think or they're sold some sort of vision that, hey, you're going to make tons of money, you know, in your first first 30 days or 60 days. And I just think that's wrong. So guys, just to recap, man, you got to get your budget right. That's really important. You really need to understand your numbers. And thirdly, you got to get that mind right. Mindset's probably the most important thing in this business. If you keep this, you know, thinking long term, the rest of the other pieces, the budgets, you know, the numbers, it'll all kind of fall into place. So guys, if you're new and you're about to start on Amazon or you haven't yet, avoid these mistakes. I promise you, you avoid these mistakes. You set yourself up right out of the gate. It's, gonna, it's just going to propel into better things in the future. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please, if you got any comments, questions or concerns, leave them in the comments below. You know, at the end of the day, you got to do the right things. To be epic, you got to create epic. But I wanted to say if you're watching the vlog for the very first time, you want to thank you very much. We appreciate it. Please subscribe part of the family. If you want to see more vlogs just like this, please click on the unscathed. Of course, to my peeps, be you. Stay optimistic. Enjoy the rest of your night. It's a big high five for me to all of you.